Hello guys, what is up? I am Lee Number One Two One, and welcome back to Flash Fridays, where I give you guys a blast from the past with games with the Flash. As I continue my let's play of Zuma Deluxe for the PC. Last time, I started, thought this game started. Introduce yourselves, you guys, to Zuma. Show the differences between Zuma and Luxor, and clear the first three stages, aka the first temple, the Temple of Zalkokin. In this episode, we're gonna start on the second temple, Quetzal Waltz. As I introduce the brand new twist that, uh, or that happens every time you enter a brand new temple. So, if you guys are hyped for more Zuma Deluxe here on the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content if you're new, and ring that bell to don't find any time on the channel. Last episode on the card, top right. Anyways, I won't be talking for just a little bit because I'll just I'll, all I need to do is just explain the change that happens with each temple. So without further ado, let's play. So you see that the ball, uh, chain of balls now goes slightly faster. It may not be as obvious early early on, and there's now a new color, purple. Now regardless of color, uh, the powers are not, are not um, the, uh, the powers that you get from each of the balls that spawn the balls are actually random. It's not like, oh, it's purple, it will spawn a certain power like it happens in uh, Luxor 3. So there's another difference for you there you might want to take note of. It's not like you must keep a purple alive in order for it to get some power up. It's always going to be random, it's always going to be a random ball as well. The game does not care of what color uh, the ball is uh, when it gives the power ups basically. So do take note of that if you're trying to, if you are trying to aim for a certain power up. Especially if you're trying to, if you're struggling on a level, I wouldn't recommend trying to aim for um, certain colors. It, it doesn't matter basically. That's what I'm getting at. Of course, with the lower, le uh, later levels being a little bit more difficult and requiring more points um, to clear the level, the, the ace time will be slightly higher. So you can also take more advantage of getting well those ace times. Now I'm gonna keep quiet mostly for the next few levels because again it's the same 15 levels but with the extra twists as we go along the episode. So really there's not much to comment on, just enjoy the gameplay. Not sure if you caught that, but there was a bit of a glitch there where the green ball actually moved back to the chain of balls in the back, even though there was no matching color. Weird.
Oh, wait, I forgot about this. It also has a new level, level 4 6 switchback. I knew there was actually something missing. Um, in the later um, temples, they actually give you more levels. I actually forgot about that. Now, I'm not saying this only happens for the second and third temple. So, the fourth and final temple, uh, there's actually no extra stages. So, for the second temple, we have a new level, switchback. I quite like this uh, design, but at the same time, it's very, very uh, skewed of a design. Probably not that point. Um, so you can see right there, it's very curvy in uh, structure. There's not really any like um, comfortable spot to shoot at because sometimes you might actually shoot a spot and you end up the ball goes to a different uh, um, location basically. That's the the gist or the gimmick of this level that can be quite annoying to deal with. I only appreciate that the game keeps giving me yellow. Again, don't appreciate that the game keeps giving me yellow. Zuma. I'll be honest, I can see ball is so nice to have because you have free free roam of the where you're of the control, so you can pretty much just shoot where you want the ball to go very easily. It's not like you're, um, it's not like you're, um, restrictive to where you're, uh, um, to just being below. You'll always be in a certain position where any, um, part of the level is accessible from where the frog is, which is quite nice. And there we go! I'll be perfectly honest, I actually forgot that the, um, a new level is introduced, um, in the new temple, so... Get ready for a another um, level on the next stage. Uh, but of course, the next five are going to be the ones we've seen before, so I'm going to keep quiet once again.
as I showcased there, there really are many ways to get to that green bar. If you're a chain guy, go for chains. If you're a coin guy, go for coins. If you're a hybrid like me, just aim at whatever suits your fancy. Now to the new level for stage 5. Level 5-6, Sand Garden. And it's not hard to see why it's called Sand Garden. The textures in, the, uh, in the, this level are quite a or something, let's just say. Yeah, the level itself is quite complicated. You can see right there the design is uh, is something, let's just say. Some of the designs are quite quirky, I'll admit. Although this one is quite infamous that so you'll see in due time. Oh, I think I remember that level. I think. I will have to see if I can recall that once it appears in front of my eyes. Oh my gaudy eyes! And if anyone gets a reference, yes, I did watch Darta for for a bit. Actually, I think the term was Jaudy Eyes, I think about it. Not Jaudy Eyes, Jaudy Eyes. There we go. Ah, Sobi! Stage 5 complete. On to stage 6. There was one period of time to stand and I don't know where I was shooting. Excuse me? That was a 7 combo! Literally the next episode after I, uh, I mentioned, oh I don't think I'm gonna get a 6 combo, I got a 7. Really game? Sure. I'll take it, I guess. Got it. Max combo 7. I don't think I will ever do that again. That was lucky. saw from an easy coin grab, the game is not sentient, where the sense that they choose a coin spot that is harder to grab. It's random at times. Double get bonus, by the way, that I just pulled off. There, there is such thing as a double get bonus, which is possible when some of the setups uh, are allowed. But that one right there is probably the best opportunity to grab that bonus if you can find the perfect um, spot to do it in.
I don't hope for a lot of purples there, but the game just didn't want to give me. That, that was a risky shot that I probably shouldn't have taken, but oh well. Come on. Again, aiming for a corner is not uh, ideal, so you want to aim for a flatter spot like this then. You don't want to be too greedy as you saw there. I, I could have gone for the coin, but honestly, it would have ruined my um, the chain very badly if I tried to go for it. So that's why I didn't go for it this way. But that's all about strategy as well, which is kind of ironic uh, for an arcade game like this. But it is helpful if you're able to figure out when to be greedy and when to not be greedy. Of course, be greedy when the game allows, some, I would say. That's the best uh, to, um, like a piece of advice I can give. Of course, be accurate too. That was awful accuracy just then. Last new stage for this episode, level 6-6, six, six, Sunstone. I can see that the point spot of this spot right there is quite mean, but if you're able to grab it, it's a boon. Also, I'm pretty sure right now someone's typing in the comments how in the world are you able to see some of the combos. All I can say is practice. And a very sharp mind definitely helps. Like being able to spot when you can like shoot two balls to give yourself a gap bonus, for example, I would go for it straight away. But it does require a bit of practice and a bit of uh, understanding of the board once you clear block balls. It's kind of like Tetris, where I am supposed to be aware of what happens if I like clear a line in the stack. Like if I'm aware of what my stack will look like after I clear the line, I will know where to place the next piece. That's kind of like the, um, the same um, spatial awareness of the, of the game that you will need. And there we go, stage 6 complete, and that is the second temple cleared. I see what? You have lived still. Is it possible to be the one of which the ancient prophecy speaks? It was set in order perhaps to release me from my wicked capture person finally! But no namely this was the story of the exactly old why. You want to live? Now retreat! 
Ribbit. <laughs> Again, no awareness. The Golden Seekers of Zuma await you to dare enter the Lost Chamber. We're just clear Quetzalcoatl, and next time on Zuma Deluxe, we take on Popo Poyoli, another Lost Temple. Awaits. Thank you guys so much for watching, but remember, the adrenaline rush is real. This is Lee Appenet for 121, signing out, and I'll catch you guys on episode 3 of my playthrough of Zuma Deluxe. Peace!